Welcome to Lake Atalan in Guatemala. This lake features three volcanoes and it's surrounded on all sides by enormous hillsides. At 18 kilometers in length, it's one of the biggest lakes in Guatemala and it's absolutely amazing. Let's go, baby. Woo! I came to Panaha Chel about two days ago and it's a very beautiful town, very vibrant, lots of people, very small, only about 15,000 people live here. Now it's 15,000 people and one Scotsman. This is shaping up to be one of the most beautiful towns I've ever been in, in my life. It's so vibrant, it's so colourful. The people are really friendly, really friendly. I'm enjoying myself. What I love about this town is they physically paint the items for sale inside the shop on the wall. Somebody comes along and paints it onto the wall. So it's there forever, it's just beautiful. This shop is officially sponsored by Pepsi. I started walking about about an hour ago. It was eight o'clock in the morning. The town was dead. Now one hour later, it's coming to life. People going to work, tourists coming out of their hotel. What I love about Panaha Chel is up and down the streets, there's hundreds of alleyways and you can just dart down one and have a little adventure, have a little look around and see what's going on. I'm just going to take a cheeky shortcut through this market. I discovered this market yesterday. It's literally 30 seconds from my house. What makes Panaha Chow so unique, what makes it so beautiful, is the artwork that's behind me. This is just one of many artworks that's physically painted onto the walls all over this town. And it's just amazing. You can spend the whole day walking around and still not see every single piece of artwork. It's spellbinding. Here you have a lamppost and even it has street art on it. A regular lamppost and now it's a piece of art. God darn it, I just dropped my camera. The lens is slightly scratched. Hopefully it won't affect the footage. What an idiot, what an absolute idiot. Beautiful town, beautiful people, beautiful weather. It's roasting in fact. I might have to put on some sun cream soon before I burn. That was a stroke of luck. I just met the guy who's responsible for the planning of 90% of these paintings all over town. My name is Gustavo Rosales. I was born here in Panajachel and this is my neighborhood. And this is a project that we started a month ago. For the artists, take them like three days. We did all this wall in three days and there are more. They had their own fights many, many years ago too, trying to develop this neighborhood area too. And this wall is in honor to them.
went across the road to get a shot of this saloon behind me. It's pretty cool. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. That big hill that I pointed to, apparently it gives you an amazing overview of the lake. I'm going up there. Oh, mama, it's steep. It's steep already. I swear to God, that guy's about 100 years old and he's just walking up the road. Okay, I can see part of the lake, it looks amazing, but I need to go further up, further up. I am sure I'm going the wrong way, there's no way. This road leads to the top of that hill. There's no way on earth. Okay, let's have a little walk down to this hotel and see if they grant me access to the roof. Well, the views are spectacular so far, but there's a sign right there that says private property. I like it here, but I can guarantee it's very expensive to stay here. Okay, this is the entrance to the hotel. I'm gonna see if I can blag my way in. Look at this, oranges growing on the tree. I wonder if they're free. Maybe for guests only, and I'm not a guest. I'm an intruder. Okay, the plan is I'll walk in, ask how much a room is and then walk back out. Whoa! $350 per night! Apparently it's this way. Straight down here, then take a left. I think I've made it. I think this is it. story of my life. They wouldn't let me go up. They said no pictures, no video. I've literally just walked into private property. It's a big patch of land. I'm beyond caring. Okay, I was able to do a time-lapse shot to get some additional footage. The security down in this area is absolutely terrible. This is supposed to be private property. Shame on you. Not really.